Hull City's basking in the performance of one Tarek Skubal, who was dazzling in Game 2 of the ALDS. He joins us this morning. Tarek, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You were in the zone. How do you describe that game on Monday? Uh, it was a ton of fun. I mean, the environment was great. Um, obviously, to come out with a win is what matters. But, um, it, you know, it was fun. It was fun being on the mound and and doing that. That was fun. But, obviously, the carp swing, I mean, that changes everything there. And that was, I mean, what a swing. How do you handle the expectations, the pressure, the stress of – being a Cy Young candidate, the season that you had, now you come into the postseason and everybody wants to know, can he do it postseason? Now you've, you haven't given up a run in the postseason. How do you handle the expectations to prepare for the next time you're on the mound? Yeah, I mean, I think expectations, that's a lot of outside noise that, um, to be honest, doesn't really matter to me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do the same thing every time I pitch, and that's put my team in a position to win, and uh, you know, I'm at my best when I'm when I simplify the game and you know just worry about throwing strikes, executing pitches. You know, whatever Raj calls, go out there and execute it. Um, that's when I'm at my best. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. You, you mentioned uh, um, Rogers as your catcher. He's caught every game. How? What's that relationship like, and how does it develop between pitcher and catcher so that you just trust what he's calling? Yeah, I think, one, it's a lot of the preparation that he puts in um, and and his ability to just read guys, read swings, um, understand situations in games, all that kind of stuff. So when you see all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, um, it's, it's very easy for me to just trust what he's calling. And um, he calls a really aggressive game, and, and I like that. You know, we're, we're going right at guys. Um, and uh, that's when I'm at my best, and he knows that too, so. Um, he, he does a great job behind the plate. You mentioned the atmosphere already of pitching in Cleveland. What came over you with the Cleveland crowd egging each other on? <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what that was. Um, probably shouldn't have done that, but it's, it, it was just in the moment, whatever. Um, it happened, but uh, yeah, I don't really know what that was, um, but it happened, so. We saw on social media your mom hit you with a Tarek Daniel because Both of some names. language. <laughs> oh, no, middle name alert. Did you get a message from mom? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, she texted me after the game, you know, I love you, whatever. Um, but she was saying the same thing. She's like, you can't do that, you know, on the road. And I'm like, I know, Mom, I know. I, I don't know what got into me. But, um, yeah, that was that was really funny. When we loved last, it, though. Yeah, we loved it. When was the last time she went full name on you? Tarek Daniel Scooble. Um, I, haven't, I haven't heard her call me by my, you know, Tarek Daniel was when I was in trouble growing up. So I haven't, I haven't gotten that. In a, in a while, probably since, you know, high school was when the last time I was really in trouble with my mom. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's really funny. You seem like you, you wish you hadn't done it, though, but it kind of felt like you were feeding off it. Didn't it help you? I, I don't, At least from afar, it looked like that helped you amp up a little bit. Yeah, I think there's, um, you know, I, I guess I wish I would have just kept it within our team, you know, okay. just within our team and our guys and, and not really interact with fans just because it's, you know, it, it becomes a slippery slope in that aspect of, of what's going on and, and some bad things can happen, you know. Um, you know, especially, you know, fans are drunk, whatever happens. You know, I, sure. I, just, yeah. I should probably just keep that within um, our team, you know, Makes going sense. forward. But, you know, it was it was fun. Um, obviously, I fed off of it. But, um, yeah, whatever. Um, we, we heard during the broadcast that we knew the, the special relationship that you have with Matthew Boyd, what was it like facing him in game two? And then we also saw, you know, saw you guys leaving together. What were the convers? what type of conversations do you have with a friend, with an opponent after a game like that? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously first off seeing him, um, you know, pregame going through our pregame stuff kind of right next to each other. I thought that was really cool. Um, he means a ton to me. Um, the role that he played, you know, for me when I first got to the big leagues was, you know, definitely like a mentor leader, um, you know, role for me to help me, you know, get on my feet. And, uh, that's something I'll forever be grateful for. I think him and his family are very special people. I think the city of Detroit knows that too. So, um, to be able to, you know, go at it on the, on the biggest stage, I think was, uh, was pretty special. Um, but then post game, you know, I just, 
we were talking about the game and, you know, how much fun it was to go and compete in that environment. And, you know, I thought he looked great too. So, you know, you, you tell guys that, you know, just we're playing each other, but we're also humans. Um, and uh, that was just kind of, it was just like genuine conversation. I asked him how his family was doing and when they're going to get to Detroit and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a really good dude. That was a ton of fun. Talking to Tiger pitcher, Tarek Skubal, uh, AJ Hinch had mentioned Matthew Boyd and how everybody, you know, really respects Boyd. When we talk to AJ, he doesn't like to take too much credit for what's going on with this baseball team. He doesn't want the spotlight. But could you spotlight just what you've seen, not only with the moves, but the leadership and how you know, the role he's played in getting you guys where you are right now? Yeah, I think he de- definitely deserves a ton of credit. Um, you know, the role that he's played, you know, obviously being the manager, but just the impact he's had on on our guys. You know, there's no panic from him. And I think that feeds, you know, that trickles down right into our guys to where, you know, we're young, but guys come up and they just play with confidence and play with, um, you know, emotion, whatever gets them going. And they're just allowed to play freely. And I think that's, you know, a credit to him. And then obviously all the stuff that he's doing with, you know, the bullpen matchups, um, all that pitching stuff, I, I think he definitely deserves a ton of credit. I mean, obviously the guy's got to go out there and perform, but, you know, he's doing a ton of research and homework and getting guys in positions for them to go out there and have success. And, um, you know, it definitely doesn't go unnoticed. I think everyone in the clubhouse, you know, we all trust him and, um, you know, believe in him and every move that he makes, you know, pinch hitting, all that stuff. Everyone plays, you know, every single day. So everyone's pretty dialed in and we all trust in in the process and, and what he's doing. So, you know, as much as he probably doesn't want the credit, I think he deserves a ton of it. I know you won't be on the mound today and it would be short rest for you to be on the mound tomorrow. What do you think the the experience, the environment will be like at Comerica today? I'm really excited. I'm really excited. You know, I've always heard ever since I got in the big leagues in 2020 and 21 that playoff baseball in Detroit's the best in the in the big leagues. So um, we were able to, to do that and bring a playoff game back home. So I'm excited to get to the yard and, and experience that. You know, I wish somehow I lined up that I was, you know, start one of these games just because that environment would be pretty special to throw in front of. But, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to get to the yard today. John brought up short rest, not a consideration right now. Kind of a delicate question. The longer you guys play, how open or comfortable are you pitching on shorter rest deeper in the postseason? Knowing, you know, you want to make sure you pitch your best, but is that a conversation um, that you have had or are open to? Yeah, I haven't had any conversations with, um, you know, with AJ or, you know, Fed or anything like that. Um, I'm I'm open to whenever they want me to throw, I'll throw. Um, you know, I I want to win just as bad as anybody, so that's that'll probably be how that conversation goes. But yeah, I mean, I love I love playing the game. Um, you know, short rest does kind of diminish, you know, maybe stuff and stuff like that. But you know, I'm ready to go out there and compete, you know, on any given day. But um, yeah, I haven't had any of those conversations yet. We saw a fiery school against Tampa Bay, uh, and that one was at home. It was the end of the regular season, but you guys were, you know, meaningful pushing, games. Yeah, yeah. meaningful games, pushing for a playoff spot. And then you obviously had the game, um, you know, yesterday, and you were feeding off both crowds. Which do you feed off of more when you're in a hostile environment or when you see the, the, the crowd at Comerica going bonkers? Yeah, I mean, I I want to throw at home always. Um, throwing in front of your home fans is is a ton of fun, and um, yeah, I mean they're they're different. You know, throwing in front of a hostile environment is fun in its own right. You know, um, but I, I think nothing beats throwing at home in front of your own fans. Um, I, I think the support that they give you, uh, I think you feed off that even more. You know, because they want you to do well, you want to do well. Whereas in a hostile environment, they're hoping you fail, but you're trying. You know, you're trying to go out there and have success, but. I'd much rather throw in front of our home fans. I think it's I think it's a ton of fun. And credit to Cleveland, you know, to our fans too. There's a ton of Tiger fans in Cleveland, so that was that was obviously fun. You know, there's some Let's Go Tigers chants and post game. There's a big group of fans, you know, above our dugout. I think that was awesome too. But yeah, I'd much rather throw in front of our home fans. I saw you doing some of the media after the game. You were wearing that gritty T-shirt, the one that's got the the graph that showed maybe the playoff probability spiking at the very end with the word gritty. It's it's a word the Lions have used too. How connected is this city? I, I know Dan Campbell was on with us earlier today. He's talked about you know, rooting for you guys, just the way that you guys have been able to ignite the city. Do you feel like it's connected right now? 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it started with the Lions, right? I mean, what they did last year was a ton of fun, and you saw the fans kind of, you know, like buy into the Lions and everything that, you know, Dan Campbell's doing over there, and then, you know, trickles down to us, and we're playing, you know, and then the Red Wings kind of, I mean, they made a playoff push, and they won their last game, but they got a little unlucky with another team winning and not getting into the playoffs, so you see what they're doing, and the momentum that they have. And then, you know, we're just kind of feeding off that too, you know, with, with our organization and our team, you know, I think Detroit's a great sports town. And if you provide, you know, winners, they're, they're, they're going to come and support and, and get loud and create great environments for you to play in. So, um, yeah, I think it is connected in that aspect. And, you know, every organization right now is, is trying and doing whatever they can to win. And I think it makes for a fun sports town and, and fun for fans that are fans of all, you know, sports in Detroit. I'm curious because you mentioned Chris Fetter just a minute ago and there are guys that have pitched in the minor leagues and then they come up to the Tigers and have pitched better. We've had pitchers come in free agency and they pitch better here. I'm curious. I don't even know if you could put your finger on it, but what is it that Chris Fetter and the pitching coaches have been able to do? What's the secret sauce or the relationship between the coaches and the pitching staff to be able to pull so much so many, so many better performances out of out of the staff. Yeah, I'll probably keep the the secrets the secrets with you know <laughs> Fett and Lund um, and Juan Nieves. But I I will say this: they deserve a ton of credit. They're, the pitching department that we have here is is very dialed in on everything. So I think they create a great environment for guys to come in and and get better. You know, each and every day. It's pretty simple. The the stuff that they're kind of asking of us, um, and it's just about us going out and doing it, um, you know, but scouting report stuff, preparation, um, you know, all the uh, pitch design, whatever you want to do. I mean, I, you know, mechanics, all that stuff, they're, they're extremely dialed in on all that. Um, so they deserve a ton of credit and, and what's going on with, you know, with guys that are coming up, but also I think the guys deserve a ton of credit too, you know, mm-hmm. to come up here and, and pitch in the big leagues for the first time and, and to have those nerves and, and not really show them and just go out there and compete and try and execute pitches. I think that that's uh, that's a credit to the players too, but I, I do think that our pitching department deserves a ton of love um, just because they're really good at their job. So it's not voodoo or pixie dust or magic. <laughs> uh, Terry, good stuff. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. All right. It's uh, Terry Scoobal, Tigers pitcher. Tiger playoff game today. It's 97-1.